everyone, this is Mel from Fun Creatives. Today I am going to be making clip art of a little doggy that I drew. And now you're going to see me work on it as I make it. So this is him. I drew him on a piece of paper that was an A4 size on the side, which is a sort of a US letter size as well. And then and I scanned him and opened him up on Photoshop. So I opened him up on my USB stick and dragged his picture on to Photoshop. Now this size here is A4. That's how I normally like to use this camera that's nice and big for me similar to US letter I'm going to draw this dog but make him perfect on both sides as in mirror each side so I don't have to draw the whole thing I'm gonna go up to view so if we go up to view here and then we go right down to rulers and so we can see the rulers pop up here so I'm going to get a ruler which should go down here a line in the middle line of symmetry so I need to go back up to view and then I'm gonna go right down to new guide and this little box pops up and I'm going to go vertical rather than horizontal I'm going to go down that way and I'm gonna make it 10 centimeters so boom and this little line pops up now he's not directly in the middle of the doggy so I'm gonna move the line I'm gonna go up to this little cursor the move tool click on that grab it and move it sort of in between probably about there it's not perfectly with the noses, so I'm going to have to do work on that nose. I now need to go over to layers because I can't really draw straight on this layer as it's not going to work out for me. So go to layers. I'm sorry about it, all that. It's other stuff. But I'm going to go to new layer, which is a little icon next to the rubbish. And voila, I've got into a new layer. But as you can see, that's the old layer. This is the new layer. I'm now going to get rid of that so it's out of my way. And now I'm going to go over to the brush tool over here. Click on that. And you'll see that I've got a brush which is at 20, which is the perfect size for me. But it's on it's soft, it's on soft, but I really want it hard. So it's nice and clear. So that's great. I've moved it right over here to 100%. It's at 20 picks. Now, it's not quite done yet because I need to make this smooth as I draw it. I'm not going to make it all zigzaggy like this. I'm using a mouse, by the way, not a Wacom tablet. So I'm going to go up to smoothing and I'm going to click on it and move it up to about 45 however you like it it's just better if you put this on now flow is hundred percent and opacity I put 15 that's not gonna work I need to make it 100 perfect make sure we're in the right layer yes we are we're not on the actual drawing layer I'm on my a layer that goes above it and I'm going to start from here as you can see I'm drawing his head and it's going to stop just there. It's a little bit over, that's okay. I'm gonna draw his, his snout sort of thing. It's not perfectly aligned to that. But that's okay. And his nose. Now that could be perfect, I'm gonna get rid of that. So I can either rub it out using the rubber, the eraser tool, or I can go up to edit, undo brush tool. And now it's gone so I'm going to redo that but I now need to zoom in so I've gone over to the zoom in magnifying doodahy tool go back up to the brush and then let's make his nose a little bit better and I'm glad I saw it. yeah hopefully that works so far so good as you can see it's not bang on the eye that's okay I'm just making it better in this particular drawing now I'm going to do the ear a bit laggy and up that's cool moving down you can hear the clicking of the mouse that I'm using and his front paws they're big because he's a puppy let's put the little claws in because you yeah, know puppy dogs have claws Okay, cool. Now that's really all I need to create my puppy dog on this side, but I need to mirror and reflect it onto the other side. Zoom out, about there, that's great. So what I need to do is to get rid of this back layer because I'm done with it. Go back to layers, click off the eye that shows that layer and I've got this last layer left and this is really easy to do. All you need to do, I'll get rid of this, is to go up to edit and we're going to go to copy. Now I'm going to go back up to edit and paste special. And what's happened is that it's repasted on top of itself. But now I'm going to go to free transform. 
and I'll just show over here where the layers is, it's doubled itself, it's duplicated itself on, an, on two different layers. So that's cool, it's exactly what I want. Move this back out of the way, and now I'm going to free transform and move the puppy dog over here. And that's pretty cool. And what you go up to do is you place it in place. There's a bit of a gap. Let's go up to this little move tool, grab the top layer and move them in, okay? I might move them in even further. You can make them cute as you want. Okay, so that's that. I'm happy with him. That's how I like it. Go back up to layers to make it all one layer. All you do is you go up to the above layer, which is this layer, not this one, this one here. And you need to right click and then you go down to merge down. They have joined up now. The two layers are now one. So now if I go to the move tool, he's a one little puppy dog. Okay, so cute. But this line's now annoying. I'm gonna get rid of it. So I'm gonna go back up to view and now I'm going to go to clear guides. Voila, he's gone. He's my cute little puppy dog and I'm going to color him in. Really, really easy. All you need to do is make sure you've got the color you want in the foreground. So. Um, I might start with his nose and then go up to the bucket and you just fill him in there is a bit of a white line so just click on it again and it's gone okay so now I'm going to get, grab that uh, I might go a little bit lighter so what you can do is just pick your color so you click twice on that this box will come up and I'll go for that color and I'll put his body as that color and I might just change his snout a little bit lighter and yep, that's good. And his ears a little bit darker. Go back to the same color and go to a darker color that I like. That's perfect. Okay, but again, I've got little white lines. Just click in there, click in there, gone. Right, I need to do the eyes. I'm going to find white. And do those and just black for the other, for his actual eye eyes. Okay. Here's my puppy dog colored in. He's not quite perfect around here. I'm gonna go back to the little brush on black and I'm going to actually zoom in so I don't miss this. Go back to the brush. Okay, so it might be a bit thick around here. So I might just go and collect, I'll get the picker, collect his color and then sort of just smooth that out again. Remember I've got smoothing going on and it's at 50% so it's not zigzaggy. And this is with a mouse not a Wacom tablet. Okay, again, not perfect, but I'm not really looking for perfection. I think he's cute as he is. Let's go and put some bit of highlight in his nose, and I might just put a little... Yep. And I think he's almost done. So there's my cute little puppy dog, and he's now a clip art. If I wanted to make him small, all I need to do is do this. And so I go over to the um, rectangular marquee tool. So as you can see, using the marquee tool, which was the square one, it is now selected. Easy peasy to crop this. Go up to image and then go up to crop. He's cropped. Oh, I can deselect, which is under select. And now I just go to file, export. Export. And then I can name it doggy, clip art, and save it on my desktop because that's where I want it. It's a PNG with a transparent background. So you can go anywhere on a photo or a document. And he's good to go. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please like and subscribe and share and ding my bell for future videos. The next video, I'll show you how to make him more 3D. So shadowing.